Hey guys, welcome to the channel and to the second episode of My Way. In this episode I will showcase one of my favorite fillers, liquid sprue. Some people prefer to call it sprue goo or dissolved styrene. The latter actually describes exactly what it is. I have a bottle of this stuff that I have been using for almost 5 years now, so it's very long lasting. And for me the perfect liquid sprue is right between runny and stringy. It should have a good consistency so you can build up material, but it should not get stringy, since that can mess up details on your model. So, the question is, how do I make it? You probably already have the ingredients for this magic brew in your modeling corner. Like those almost empty jars of Tamiya Extra Thin or Plastic Weld. And what about those leftover sprue trees and runners that you have lying around? It's perfectly fine to use scrap sheet styrene too. So let's get started. First I pour the glue into one jar that we are going to use to mix our liquid sprue in. That went better than expected actually. No glue spill on the cutting mat. Nice. Next step is to cut down the runners into small pieces and mix it with the glue. It's hard to give any directions on the proper mix between styrene and glue. You will simply have to mix and check the consistency and adjust so you get the mix that you feel comfortable to work with. I prefer hard styrene, like for example Edward and Hasegawa, but this is of course a personal choice. If you build a lot of Airfix models, maybe the soft styrene that Airfix uses is best for you. Yes, it will take a while for the glue to dissolve the styrene. Let's leave it to do its thing. Remember those Tamiya extra thin jars where you wasn't able to reach the last drops of glue? Here's a cool trick that I learned about a while ago. The tip of the brush is actually telescopic, so to speak, so you can adjust the length of the brush to reach down into the bottom. How cool is that? Just make sure that you don't push the tip into the bottom of the jar, because that will bend the tip of the brush. Okay, let's get back to the liquid sprue. I left this overnight to make sure that it was fully dissolved. It's a little bit too thick for my taste. I need to top it up with some more glue. Make sure that you don't mix up the caps if you use your regular glue bottle for this. Because that will ruin your day. Trust me. All right, I will use a couple of parts from a kit that I have actually binned. The plastic quality and fit was horrible, but uh, what can you expect if you pay less than two euros for a kit? Anyway, I will reuse one of the main wing sections for this exercise. So let's start by gluing the main wing parts together. As you can see there are Grand Canyon sized seams that is supposed to look like panel lines. 
there is also a small step between the parts. So I will apply the filler on the panel line for the inner flap in this example. That way we can easily compare what it looks like with and without filler. I dab on the liquid sprue trying to work it into the seams a bit and build up some material on top of the seam. The liquid sprue will shrink a little bit while it's curing, but after it's dry it will not shrink anymore. I normally leave the part to dry for 24 hours, but the longer the better. When it's fully cured, the liquid sprue should have a gloss surface and it should be completely hard. So let's get started with the sanding. You will probably sand away most of the material, so you can start with a coarse sanding stick. Make the final touch-up with a sponge sanding stick. After that you can polish the surface with a buffing stick. This will make it easier to spot imperfections. There seems to be a couple of spots that need some more filler. We'll use liquid sprue again for that. After those spots have cured, I can continue to sand them down and polish them again. Using CA glue would have been much faster for small areas like this, but I will rescribe the panel lines, so I prefer to use liquid sprue here. So there you have it, I think that looks good enough for this demo. One of the benefits of using liquid sprue is that it's very easy to rescribe, so let's do that. I'm using Demo marker tape as a guide for the rescribing tool. Rescribing is not my favorite part of a build, and I'm not very good at it. But over the years I found that using a guide, almost no force on the tool, and many many passes, gives the best result. It's really just a matter of patience and sticking to those disciplines. Okay, 
I think we are done and I can start breathing again. So this is the result after some grey primer. If you compare the two areas on the trailing edge of the wing, you can clearly see the difference. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this little demo useful. Take care, happy modeling and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.